Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. Want to do this video here today of this uh, young NCA player. Uh, just has great mechanics. A lot of things in, in her swing that I really like a lot. And I want to just go over some of them with you. And uh, hopefully what I explain to you here will help you to uh, get your swing started in the right direction. Now, this swing right here, this is where it starts. And I'm just going to show you some some of the areas again that she's doing that I really believe will help you now what she's doing right now in this particular stage of her swing she has her her weight right now in the end step of of her uh, back foot and then also too in the weight in the inside of her ankle inside of her thigh and the reason I know this is because of this now if you slow this video down right here pay attention to what's, what's going on with her lower body right there now you can see here that her body is going laterally, okay? In other words, she's going linear towards the target right now. The only way this can occur in the manner that she's doing that is if she's pressing, if she's pressing weight in the instep of her back foot. In other words, she's almost pressing down on the ground, okay? And this is important for you as a player to understand in order to get your body working correctly in the right manner that this is what must occur. It's almost like a pressing down. And again, it's very important to understand at the highest level, this is what players do. And the reason they do it is because it gets you going to good momentum, to great momentum going to the front side. Therefore, as you get to heel plan, it's going to allow you to let your hips open up once you hit a firm front side. Now, another thing that's going on right here with this young lady swing is this. Now, pay attention now as we go further on here. Pay attention what's going on with her upper body, okay? Now, you can see that her back elbow is going to start working back and behind her at the same time as she starts to get into her toe touch, okay? Now, this is very important because what this does, it creates great pullback. It creates great resistance, therefore allowing you to have great torque. Now, watch how she gets into, right now, she gets into her heel plant. Even at heel plant right here, you can see here that her shoulders are still closed, okay? They're pointing to still to the second basin. She has beautiful angles right here, slightly bent arm where her back of her hands are right here behind her back foot. In other words, she's walking away from the hands. Now, she also has a 45 degree angle right here where her bat is, which is gonna give her a great whipping action as she gets into her heel plan and her connection stage of the swing. This is very important. Now. Like I just mentioned, again, if I back this up right here as far as what's going on now, pay attention to what's going on with her lower body right here as she gets into her heel plant. As she gets into her heel plant right here, everything's going to stop. Watch how her head just stops right there. Therefore, she's going to allow, allow herself to just have beautiful rotation through the ball. This is crucial. Many times what I see with players is their body start working, starts to work forward. And the reason it works forward many times is because a player, their tempo is too fast. You need to have very smooth, slow tempo. And again, everybody's tempo is a little different, but you want to slow things down. Therefore, as you start to swing, your body will be able to get to a great hill plant. You'll be able to block your front side by getting to a firm front side. Therefore, everything will be able to just rotate off a firm front side, therefore giving you much better bat speed, much better rotation through the ball. Now another thing that's going on with her swing right here is very important and you see this pretty much at every high level swing. Now as she's getting her resistance, okay, like I just mentioned to you right here, as she gets into her heel plant right here again, and I'm just going to put her at heel plant right here, and pay attention to what's going on right here, and what's occurring right now in her swing right here, as she gets into her heel plant, even at the stage of the swing right here, she's still pulling back, she's still applying resistance. Now, by doing so, what that does is it allows the la the front side and the back side to work against one another, which in which what it will do for you, it will allow your back to fall into a beautiful slot okay giving you a beautiful stage of the swing where the connection is where the back of the elbow will be as alongside the rib cage right there that will give you an opportunity for your bat to just be very compact through the hitting area now it's very important to understand that if you do not apply resistance if you do not apply that pullback that I just mentioned to you you will be deprived of the opportunity to have a compact swing like this young lady does right here. Now you can see right here, her bat right here is just in a beautiful slot right here, okay? Now, 
by doing so, it's going to allow her, again, to have her bat come down at the right path. It's going to allow her to have more bat speed. It's going to allow her to have more power. Okay, and again, I cannot emphasize this enough. The only way you can get your bat to come at this angle like this and having this, much, this great of a bat path right here is if you allow yourself, again, it's very important to have very good pullback, good resistance. Again, the, in other words, the back elbow will be working back and behind her as the lower body's rotating clock, uh, counterclockwise. So the upper body at this stage is working clockwise while the lower body is going to be working counterclockwise so there's a resistance right there going on right there and that's what's going to give you this beautiful slot right there now again it's very important to understand that upper body mechanics are very important too and I bring this up in my videos all the time because it is something that a lot of coaches don't talk about now watch where her elbow is right there now watch what happens as she starts to get into the leveling part of the swing right here you're gonna see that her elbow starts to work up to the height of the mouth now it's very obvious that her elbow is right there by the height of the mouth and it's crucial to understand in order for you to be able to hit high pitches be able to hit pretty much every kind of pitch that will come your way you must apply these kind of mechanics now I just came up with a new video it's two hours and 40 minutes long and this video right here what I explain is how important it is to level correctly if you go to maximumbassspeed.com you'll find it on there or you can email me at maximumbassspeed at gmail.com and you can learn more about it now one thing that's going on right here with this player as well is this watch how well she releases her back foot this is something that I don't see enough in softball and this young lady right here is applying this beautifully and again the reason why she's able to do this and you see uh, Lauren Chamberlain doing this uh, uh, Crystal Bustos did this uh, Jerry Ann Glasgow does a lot of very high level players do this and this is what is going to going to be the modern swing of softball in the near future I can almost guarantee you this because coaches are starting to realize that you need to get to a firm front side and let the hips release in order to have more range in order to give you the opportunity to hit pitches that you cannot hit if you get your foot stuck like like just say for example I just left my foot right here okay and this is what a lot of softball players do they live they leave their uh, their foot back there and what happens from there it usually just becomes an upper body swing but when you're able to release your your hips the way this young lady does right here it's going to allow you to have explosive power through the ball to be able to hit to the ball and through the ball pretty much with any kind of pitch now these are beautiful mechanics right here this young lady's a Applying right here. Now, I hope you learned something here. Get a hold of me at MaximumBassSpeed.com. If you learned something here, give me a like. Continue to follow my channel. I have about close to 100 videos, and a lot of them up there are very informative. Uh, thanks for watching, and I always appreciate your viewership. Have a great day.